It's been a little more than two years since Chickasaboke Park closed to undergo a major construction and renovation project as part of Mobile County's park initiative. And Fox and News got a look at what's been done and also what's still left to do so the park can get back open. Our Dacian Smith with a tour of the park today. Dacian, uh, tell us more about what you were able to see. Well, everything is starting to come along over at Chickasaboe Park. The county has already committed about $9 million in Go Mesa funding towards improving the park. And if all goes well, they hope to have part of it open to the public later this year. For the last two years, Chickasaboe Park has been going through a major upgrade from the infrastructure to some of the amenities. Planning for this project first started around the same time as a pandemic, so parts of the project were delayed. Regardless of COVID, regardless of hurricanes, we, don't want, we didn't want to give up. And so we have been working over these years. If it comes in over bid, we step back, we value engineer, and we go out to bid again. Now, after all these years, parts of the park are close to being finished. The entrance and day use park are expected to open in the summer or fall of this year. When it's finished, it will have several different features like a splash pad, upgraded basketball court, and a new family friendly trail with enough room for people to bring strollers on. When I was walking near the new pavilion site, all I could see was birthday party with kids running everywhere and it's affordable and that's what's so important. Visitors can also expect a completely new disc golf course and an upgraded mountain bike trail, which environmental services said was designed by people who specialize in working with these types of sports. These guys are passionate about their sport. We developed a set of plans for the mountain bike trails, and then the contractor came out, he looked at the plans, he walked through the the trail and he said, what can I do to make this better in order to optimize the trail for the user group? County officials say the park has a long history connected to many different cultural heritages like Creole, French, Native American and African American that will be represented throughout the park. And what we hope to do is as any structure that has that kind of history that we want people to, to recognize why. Not only do we want them to enjoy the amenities, we also want them to understand why we chose this and what the significant, the historical significance of this park is. The park has also undergone an infrastructure overhaul, including new utilities, a lift station, and a fire hydrant. Now, the RV park, beach, and boat ramp projects are still in the process of accepting bids, and those projects are scheduled to start as soon as a bid is accepted and funding is found. Live in Mobile, Dacian Smith, Fox 10 News.